What is up YouTube, it is Coach Corey, and in today's video, I wanna start a new video series called my State of the Game video series, where I just talk about all different parts of the game and talk about you know what they're doing well, what can be improved upon. As this game still is in beta, I wanna try and give some feedback, so that is the purpose of this. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the balance of the brawlers, you know, what brawlers are really strong right now, what brawlers need nerfs, what need buffs, you know, how are they doing overall? All right, so let's get into it. All right, so to start out, I'm just gonna go from common to legendary. So starting with common, then ending with Crone Spike. So to start out with Shelly. Honestly, I think Shelly's in a very good place right now. I think she's probably a little bit above average as far as comparing to other brawlers. She is great in Brawl Ball. She is good in Showdown. She's pretty good in Smash and Grab. It depends on the map a little bit. On maps where there can be very aggressive roles or aggro roles, as I like to call them, she's definitely plays that role very well. On a few bounty maps, she's definitely good. On some others, she's not that good. Um, she, I wouldn't use her in Heist. She's okay there, but I wouldn't use her. There are much better options. So I think above all, she's above average brawler, but she doesn't feel OP at all, even on the even in Brawl Ball, where she's very strong. I don't feel like she's OP. Um, I don't think I would change anything about Shelly. I think she's in a great place. I would leave her as is. I think the prior balance changes to her put her in a good place right now. Moving on to Colt. I think Colt uh, is probably one of the stronger brawlers in the game right now, but I do think he has a very high skill cap. I think it's hard for new players to be especially strong with Colt since it takes a little bit to learn how to shoot his shot well to really hit a lot of your shots. But I do think in the right hands, he's one of the strongest brawlers in the game. He's good to great in every single event type. He's great. He's good in Brawl Ball. He's pretty good in Showdown. Maybe that's his worst event type of Showdown. He's great in Heist. He's good in Smash and Grab. He's great in Bounty. I think he's a very strong brawler, but I do think that high skill cap is what keeps him balanced. I could see him getting a small nerf. I think I might nerf his um, reload speed a little bit, maybe very slightly, just to reduce his DPS some. But I think he's in a great place. I wouldn't change his attack mechanics. I think he's very fun to play. He's very satisfying to play. Overall, I probably wouldn't change him, but a small nerf would make sense. Okay, so Nita. I think Nita is pretty well balanced. I think overall she does need a buff, though. The problem with Nita is she's just not that usable. She's not good in many event types. Smash and Grab is by far her best event type, and she's not great there. She's definitely good. Depends on the map a little bit. Maps where, uh, somewhere to Shelly, where she can be uh, very aggressive, play an aggro role. She's a good support brawler in that sense. She's good on her own, but she's not that great in bounty. There's only a few maps where she's usable on. Um, she's not good in heist. She's just okay in showdown. Not good in brawl ball. So I think Nita um, is very unique, and I think that's why it's hard for her to be used in a lot of different event types. She can't deal damage fast. Um, she has a good reload speed, but it's a small amount of damage. Her bear is very special, but there are certain game modes where it's really just not as useful especially when it's more long range, like Bounty, um, Heist, it's just not, she, you sort of need that ability to deal a lot of damage for to be able to be useful in a lot of different event types, and I really think Nita doesn't have that. I do think Nita definitely needs a buff. I think probably a little hard to balance Nita, but I think one of the things with Nita is you really don't get her bear that often, and then when you do, it typically doesn't last very long. If you're facing a good team, it's probably not gonna last more than a few seconds, so I definitely think some sort of buff to her bear would be a good addition. I think her main attack is in a good place. I don't think you'd want to buff that too much since it might then be really strong. I think that would change her a lot. I think buffing her bear wouldn't be a big buff, but it's sort of a needed buff. I think you could either increase the bear's attack speed or you could allow the bear to swing and move at the same time. Currently right now, if the bear wants to hit you, it has to catch up and then stop and then it hits you and then it can move again. It can't do both at the same time. That could be a good buff. Overall, I think Nita definitely needs some sort of buff for her to be in a better place. Now, Dynamite, I think Dynamite definitely needs a nerf. He's one of the stronger brawlers in the game right now, but I don't think he's in too bad of a place. He's great in almost every single game mode. Uh, some of the maps he's not so good on, but that's pretty much it. Otherwise, he's good almost everywhere. So I definitely think he needs some sort of nerf. I think the best place I would nerf Dynamite is his super. The thing with the super right now is if you hit, it just charges his next super up too much, way too much. If you hit someone who has just one health, it charges up his next super all the way to two thirds. It doesn't matter how much health they have, it's gonna always charge up to two thirds. I think 
you definitely need to nerf how much his super charges up his next super. I mean, if, think about it. If you hit two people, and that's honestly not the most hard thing to do. You can maybe do this once a game, or maybe more. If you hit two people, it charges up his next super right away. So you can honestly sort of like chain supers. And there's almost no other brawler you can really do that with as much. I think it's a little ridiculous. That's easily the best part of Dynamite right now is how often you can get his super and how often you can throw it. It's a very strong super as well. It's got a very wide area of effect. It does a lot of damage. So that's definitely the strongest part. I think what they need to do is nerf his the amount his super charges his next super. Make it so it's somewhere under one half one hit is on somewhere under one half of charging his next super that way if you do hit two people it, you can't just chain supers you know constantly that way you need to get at least one other hit and even then that's still charging a super fairly fast compared to a lot of other brawlers so i do think that would be a good change i think you need to nerf how much his super charges next super at least somewhat and then I think he'll be in a good place. I like his main attack right now. It does a good amount of damage, but it's not crazy. You can't avoid them. So I think his main attack is in a good place. I think it's his super that needs a nerf. Now, El Primo. I think El Primo overall, I think he's in a pretty good place. He's very reliant on certain map types. He needs maps that suit close range brawlers where there's a lot of cover, a lot of places he can hide, where he can sneak up on enemies, or he can duck behind walls. But I don't think he's too OP on those maps. I think he does need them, but I think that's fine. I think that's a good balance. He doesn't need to be on every single map. He's good in a lot of different event types, so I think he's very well balanced. He's almost OP in Brawl Ball. His self-pass technique where he passes it forward and then he jumps where his shot is going. And then it bumps everyone away and he gets sort of a free shot at the goal. That's very hard to stop. You basically have to get the ball before he lands. Um, I think you could maybe reduce the amount of his knockback of his super a little bit. That might make that harder to pull off. But overall, I would say he's in a good place. If you were to change anything, I might change that. But that would probably be the only thing I would change. Now for El Primo's counterpart, Bull. I think Bull is in a pretty good place overall. Similar to El Primo, he also needs maps that suit close range. But he's good to decent on a lot of different event types of maps. He's not horrible on many, and he's not great on many either. I think he's pretty well balanced. If there was to be anything I would change, it would be his super. Compared to El Primo, Bull Super is really just second rate. It's subpar. El Primo can choose exactly where he wants to land, and he's invincible while using it. Basically the opposite of Bull, who can take as much damage until he dies while using it, and he can't choose where he lands. He has to either hit a wall, or he's going to go the full distance of his super. So if there were to be anything I would change about Bull, it would be his super. I would maybe make him invincible or make it easier to choose where he's going to stop. I think those two things or either one of those things would make Bull just a more viable option to El Primo. I think El Primo's a little bit better on most things, not everything, but I think in a lot of ways El Primo's a little bit better and I think that would make Bull at the same rate. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't change anything about Bull. Now for Brock, I like where Brock is. He's definitely a good brawler, but I don't think he's OP. He's good on a lot of different event types, pretty, almost all of them really, um, but he's definitely not too strong. I think if you were to nerf anything about Brock, I would probably either nerf his health, although I think I, I would rather not. I would rather nerf his super. I think what I would do is I would take away one rocket from his super and then reduce the radius accordingly. That way there's still a similar amount of rockets per tile or whatever it was. I think that would be a good nerf to Brock. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't give him a buff. He definitely doesn't need a buff. He's definitely an above average brawler. I think there's no question on that. He's great in bounty. He's good in smash and grab, good in brawl ball. He's good in heist. He's not that great in showdown, but I think it's okay. He's great in a lot of different places. So I do think a small nerf would be appropriate, but it's not needed. And now Barley. Barley is one of the better brawlers in the game, no question. He's good to great in every single game mode. And he, I think he definitely needs at least a small nerf. Now, I think the problem is with his main attack. Barley is one of the easiest brawlers to use by far in the game, in my opinion. It's very easy to hit with his main attack. It's very simple to use as a large area of effect. So I do think if you were to nerf something, it would be his main attack. His super is strong as well, but I don't think it's OP. And it's honestly, you can avoid it some. It's not going to deal a ton of damage unless you get caught completely in it, which doesn't happen that often. I do think it's in a, his super is in a good place. I think 
I would nerf his main attack, make it a little harder to hit with his main attack, just make it a little harder to use, either reduce the radius of his main attack, or increase the throw time, or even just, you know, increase his reload time, make it so he has less shots. And not only that, that will also sort of make it so he gets a super low left less often as well. I think that would be a good nerf to Barley. I do think he needs a nerf, and I would nerf his main attack. Okay, and now for Jesse. Honestly, I think Jesse is very underwhelming. She's pretty much only good in smash and grab, and she's really okay there. She's okay on a few bounty maps. She's really fallen out of favor recently, I think. I think with the advent of throwers, it makes her turret a lot harder to be useful. Um, with throwers, it makes it a lot harder to place a turret behind a wall and just have it stay there and be hidden and be hard to shoot. Because now throwers can just obviously throw over the walls and they can kill those turrets easily. So if throwers do get nerfed, it will be a, a small indirect buff to Jesse. So that could solve some of her problems. But I still think she probably needs another buff. Um, she got a big indirect nerf two updates ago when a bunch of other brawlers got health buffs. Brock got a health buff, Colt got a health buff, Ricochet and Dynamite all got health buffs. And they all now have the same health as Jesse. So before Jesse had about average health. And now she sort of has like on the lower end of health. So really as a support brawler who can't deal much damage very fast. She does a lot of, she can spread out her damage among a bunch of people. But she can't do a lot of damage very fast. I really think her health is too low. It's sort of as a support brawler um, who's sort of unique. And she's not very snipery. She can't do a lot of damage like those other lower health guys who can do a lot of damage. Jesse can't really do that. So I think a good buff to Jesse would be buffing her health, making her base health 800. That way at max she'll have 1,000 health. I think that would be a good amount. I think that would give her a good amount of health and to really allow her to excel more. And even with that amount of health, it's not like she's going to be running crazy. She can't do a lot of damage fast either way. I do think that would allow her to be a little more aggressive though and make some more plays. And I think that would be a great buff for Jesse. And now for Ricochet. Ricochet honestly I think is very well balanced. He's good in heist, he's good in smash and grab, he's good in bounty, um, he's just okay in brawl ball, he's just okay in showdown, he's a fairly average brawler, he's maybe in the right hands, he's above average I would think, um, I think that's one of the things with Ricochet, is he does have a high skill cap, there's a big difference between someone who plays Ricochet who knows all the bounce angles they can take on each map, there, on each map, there are specific angles and different spots you can take that allow you to hit unique shots, allow you to shoot around corners very well. Ricochet is great at that, but if you don't know those angles, you're not going to be hitting a lot of shots with Ricochet. His shot tends to spread out at long range, so it can be a little frustrating trying to take long range shots with him. He's very great at bounce shots. He hits a lot then, but long range, not as much. You could reduce the spread on his shots at long range a little bit, and you could honestly nerf his reload speed some too, since it is ridiculously fast. But I honestly think he's very well balanced. I probably wouldn't change anything with Ricochet. I think he's in a good place. Now, Poco. I think Poco is in a fairly good place. He's great in smash and grab. Everywhere else, he's not very good, honestly. He's just okay. He's usable on a couple Brawl Ball comps. He's usable on a few bounty maps. But otherwise, he's really not very usable. But I think if you were to give him a buff, it would end up where he would end up being OP and smash and grab. So I really think you probably can't give him a buff. I think he's great at smash and grab. I really like where he is there. I don't think he's he's unique enough that it's gonna be hard to make him very usable in a lot of other game modes. I like where he is. I don't think he should have any change. Now, Bo. Bo is okay. He's good on a few smash and grab maps. He's good on a few bounty maps. But other than that, he's really not very good. Uh, the problem with Bo, he has a, sort of a high skill cap as well, but the problem with Bo is his shot acts differently depending on which way you're strafing. If you're strafing left or right, his shot does act differently. So it is hard to consistently hit shots with Bo. I think that is his biggest problem right now. I think if you can make it just so it's his shot acts more consistently and you're able to hit shots a lot more often, I think that would be the best buff to Bo. I do think he needs some sort of buff. And I think anything that would help it make it so he can hit shots more consistently would by far be the best buff to Bo. It would make him a lot more fun to play. You could add back the knockback to his mines, but I really don't think it matters that much. I think his mines are in a pretty good place right now. It, he really needs to be able to hit more shots more consistently. You could either change his shot pattern some, 
or how it acts, or I think maybe you could increase the range a little bit. Those are two options that would help bow out. And now for Piper. Piper is very strong in Bounty, but honestly, she's weak everywhere else. She's great at killing other people in small individual bursts, so she's good at quick individual kills, but otherwise she actually has a fairly low damage per second, low DPS. And I think one thing you could do to make her a little stronger in other places, you could give her a health buff, and that would definitely make her usable in Smash and Grab. That would make her good in Smash and Grab, probably. Um, but it might make her OP in Bounty. So that would be an interesting thing to see. You might have to play test that some and see if you could get away with that. I would definitely do it. I think it would make her more playable. Um, she'll probably never be very usable in Brawl Ball, Heist, or Showdown. Maybe Showdown a little bit, depending on the map. But I think she'll probably never be that great on any of those event types. You could give her a health buff. Either way, I would either give her a very small buff or none at all. And now Pam. I really like where Pam is. I actually think she's very well balanced. She does require certain maps. She needs maps where enemies sort of group up some to really allow her attack to be more useful and hit more people more often. Um, she is strong on this map, but she's not OP. Now, I do think she's good to great in Smash and Grab. She's good on a few bounty maps. And I honestly think she allows for very fun gameplay style. She allows for different team comps to be used. She allows for medium to low health brawlers really able to be you know used in a different role with her health healing turret it really allows them to be more aggressive i just think she's a very fun brawler to play her turret's not op i think it's great um i really wouldn't change anything with pam she'll probably never be that good in brawl ball or heist since her you know turret is just too low utility for those event types but i do think she's in a great place i think she's very well balanced i wouldn't change anything about pam and now on to mortis the grave digger Mortis is one of the weakest brawlers in the game. He is great in Brawl Ball. He's one of the best brawlers in Brawl Ball, but he's very weak everywhere else. He's okay in Showdown, but otherwise he's very weak in every other game event type, and he honestly needs a big buff. The thing with Mortis is new players tend to struggle versus Mortis a lot. He moves very differently compared to other brawlers, so it takes a while to get used to how to shoot Mortis. But once you learn how to act versus Mortis, how to shoot versus Mortis, how to hit your shots versus him. He's honestly not much of a threat at all. Um, to even make him usable in Smash and Grab and Bounty, I think there are two things you could do. Well, first off, I think balancing Mortis, the problem with him is you have to be careful because if you give him an attack reload buff or a movement speed buff, I think he'll become too good in Brawl Ball. He's already great there, so you have to be careful not to make him better there. So I think what you have to do is you can give him a health buff. Um, that's potential. I think that's the second best option um, because then it doesn't make his movement speed much faster. And if he was going to die, he probably would have died anyways. A lot of times there's overkill in Brawl Ball. So I think the other thing you could do besides that is buff his damage. And that's really not going to affect how good he is in Brawl Ball since honestly he's not even attacking other enemies that often in Brawl Ball. If he is, he's you're playing Mortis wrong, to be honest. As a Mortis, you should be holding on to the ball for most of the game. Um, I think, but that buff could make him more usable in bounty could make him more usable in smash and grab. I think he would be able to play an aggressive role a lot better as then you'd be able to kill enemies more quickly, but otherwise you have to be careful because you don't want to buff his movement speed because then he'll honestly be too good in brawl ball, I think. And for Tara, I think Tara is in a good place. I think Tara has a very similar effectiveness to Shelly. You sort of play Tara very similarly to Shelly. I think Tara is good in Brawl Ball, good in Showdown, pretty good in Smash and Grab, decent in Bounty, not for good in Heist, but I think Tara is good enough and not too OP in many places. I really like where Tara is. Tara is a very unique super that allows for really fun gameplay. I think you can really take over teams. You can win games with her super. It's a lot of fun. I think Tara is well balanced. I wouldn't change Tara. And now onto the legendaries. Let's go with Spike. So Spike is pretty good. But honestly, he's a little underwhelming. Um, he's decent in Smash and Grab, but it really depends on your team composition. He's good on a couple bounty maps. He's not good in Heist. He's decent in Brawl Ball. He's pretty good in Brawl Ball. Um, and he's just okay in Showdown. The problem with Spike is you really want to play him in a very aggressive manner. Um, that's when he's at his best, but his low health is a big hindrance to that. Um, I mean, the, the spikes on his main attack, how they shoot out, 
that's a cool thing and it's a cool effect, but if that's the only damage you're getting, just one of those spikes, you're really not getting much damage at all. In order to get good damage with spike, you basically have to hit people directly with his spike attack. That's when you actually get a good amount of damage. And that's where you really have to be aggressive to be able to get those hits. So I really think a good thing for Spike would be to buff his health. Now, if you think that's going to make him too OP, you could combine that with a small attack nerf or attack damage nerf or a reload speed nerf. Um, that could make him stop him from being too strong. But I definitely think he'd be a lot more fun to play and more balanced if you buffed his health. Okay, and last but not least, definitely not least, is Crow. Crow... Um, honestly, even though he's good to great in basically every single game mode, sort of except Brawl Ball, but he's still decent in Brawl Ball. He's good to great in almost every single game mode, but I don't really feel like he's OP. But I do feel like he's the most annoying brawler to face in the game by far. Uh, his healing denial, his poison, just makes it so much less fun, I think. You're constantly not sure whether to hide and heal uh, it's really annoying you step out for a second, you get poisoned, and then you're sort of just like stuck like, oh, well, now I'm losing health. And it's I honestly just think it's not very fun just slowly whittling your health away. I think a good nerf to Crow would be to reduce the amount of time his poison lasts. I think what you could do is just make it deal the same amount of total damage so it does damage faster, but you can start healing sooner. I think that would be a great nerf to Crow. I think that would make the game more fun and make him less annoying to face. I think, honestly, Crow needs at least a small nerf, but I would preferably nerf the duration of his poison. Okay, guys, so that was my thoughts on the balance of all the brawlers. Now, just to recap, I think Crow, Dynamite, and Barley need a nerf. And I also think Nita, Jesse, Bo, and Spike, and Mortis need some sort of buff. And then the rest of the brawlers are probably pretty much fine. Some of them could use buffs or small buffs or nerfs, but I don't think it's necessary. I think those are the ones that need buffs and nerfs. Okay, guys, so that was my very first state of the game video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Some of the other things I might talk about, some of the future state of the game things, I wanna talk about all the different game modes and all the different maps and how balanced each of the maps are and how balanced all the game modes are and any suggestions or anything that I think need to be improved upon in those game modes. I want to talk about any other general additions I think the game needs. I want to talk about certain the mechanics of the games. I want to talk about certain, just in general certain problems the game is having. Um, let me know if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about in my State of the Game series. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to comment on what you want me to talk about in the next State of the Game series. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.